Hey Fight fans, welcome back again to another episode with the African Fighters. And on today's episode, we're going to be giving you a roundup of everything happening in the world of combat sports. Stay with us. My name is Adere Milwato, beloved David with the African Fighters. Yeah, I know. I know. That's a lot. Just call me Toby from the African Fighters. Anyways, we're going to be giving you everything that is going down with all your favorite African fighters in this new segment. All right, and without further ado, let's start from the biggest one right now, the hottest one that everybody's talking about, The Last Style Bender. Style Bender, the movie is going to be in cinemas on September the 28th. This is a project that is very, very dear to Israel Adesanya. It's a documentary. And yes, this is what he wrote about it on his Twitter. Not just on his tweet, I mean, on all his social media platforms, obviously. But anyways, Max Holloway and a lot of fans and other superstars have come out to show support for The Last Style Bender and this documentary, saying that we're going to see a different side to The Style Bender that most of us haven't seen before. But somebody who doesn't want to be a role model, I mean, he is doing everything he can to be a role model, unintentionally. You know, we love the style bender. Anyways, we wish him all the best. I cannot wait for this one to come out. It was produced, I believe, and written by Zoe McIntosh. Anyways, to the next story that you might have probably sort of missed. Francis Ngannou has just appointed Tyson, not Fury, is going to be fighting Tyson. Fury has just appointed Mike Tyson as his coach and corner man for his bout against Tyson Fury. The last time they met, Mike Tyson showed Ngannou, you know, this is what you do, you know, you know, you know, put him through, give him some, you know, one or two tips on how to defeat Tyson Fury. I mean, what if, just what if Ngannou defeats Tyson Fury? Anyways, you can join the podcast on Sunday to listen to us, get into all these deeper stories on the podcast, but not here. Anyways, moving forward, Mike Tyson will be in the corner of Francis Ngannou, coaching him through his fight against Tyson Fury. Ngannou had a lot of praise for Mike Tyson on his Twitter account, and this is what he had to say. All right, now moving away from one African superstar to the next African superstar, Kamaru Usman, long-time welterweight champion of the UFC has come out to lay things to rest between him and Kamzat Chimaev. I mean, it was no secret that Usman was willing to fight Kamzat Chimaev. He really, really wanted that fight, you know. Did everything he could to get the fight. UFC didn't see it making sense. And so Chimaev moved up to middleweight and obviously the fight is not gonna happen. Um, he did come out, Kamar Usman, I mean, you know, to give his take on everything that's happened, saying, you know, he's done everything in the sport, Chimaev hasn't done anything in the sport, and it makes absolutely no sense for him to chase that fight all the way up to the middleweight. If you want to see the video, here's it for yourself. Fight made sense. It made perfect sense. But you're a guy who's been in the UFC, what, two years, three, two years now? And you fought literally how many guys? Five guys, five fights. They have you ranked at number three. You fought one ranked guy, and they have you ranked at number three in my division. I'm number one. And I say, okay, let's let's fight. I'll go down and fight you. It didn't matter where. But then you you say, uh, no, I don't want to make that weight. Come up to middleweight to fight me. Wait, so you want to tell me, the former champion, at this weight, that's number one ranked in the world at that weight that I need to move up to middleweight to fight you. Who are you? Who, the, who are you? All right. And now to another African superstar that's going to be making waves later today. He goes by the name Impact Kasanganai. Super, super, super freak athlete. He's going to be taking on Martin Harmlet in what promises to be an amazing matchup in the PFL semifinals. Or the playoffs, as they like to call it. He's just two fights away from a million dollars. Can you just imagine that? Somebody who was on the receiving end of one of the biggest highlight reels in the history of highlight reels is two fights away from a million dollars. 
amazing, amazing story. I really, really hope that Impa can pull this off. I mean, such an amazing fight. If you want to see that breakdown of that fight, you can check it out on the fighters page of the African Fighters. Anyways, moving forward by moving backward, I mean, we're going to talk about Easy again because, I mean, he's the biggest African superstar. Let's not lie to ourselves. Anyways, moving forward to Easy. Earlier this week, he admitted to the fact that he was wrong to question, you know, the heritage of... One of the MMA's biggest superstar and longtime rival of himself, Robert Whittaker, you know, in their first matchup, where he said things like Robert is actually not from New Zealand because they moved away very early to Australia. And now he's kind of in the same situation against Dracos Duplessis. He said somebody pointed it out to him and um, he kind of admitted that, you know, I was a little bit ignorant back then. And he admitted, you know what, what I did was wrong. It makes absolutely no sense. And he said that Dracos should do the same thing. Dracos, however, does not look like coming out to see anything of such in the nearest future. Anyways, I'm going to leave you with that. Um, hope you've enjoyed this segment. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave your comments in the comment section. And we're going to see you in another episode. I remain Adam Lato Below by David with the African Fight. I'm joking. I'm Toby with the African Fighters. See you in another episode. Come on, Africans! Ow.